Okay naman. Oh, no. Are we yeah. live? Who knows? It's because we're live. We're six seconds in. Good evening, Facebook Live and favorite Facebook friends. I am Angel Amoroso, and I am joined this evening by my co-host, Christina G. Polis. Polis. And our guest for this evening is a female warrior of uh, just unspeakable I, I can't even yeah. say yeah. enough words okay. to, to praise this lady, Candy Kappa Freddy. Ka Kappa Freddy. Kappa Freddy. Kappa Freddy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I, I, I'm so excited about this. Candy. I think, listen, I've been called worse. Don't worry about it. Oh, me too. No, I'm still being called worse, oh, yeah. right? Oh, hell yeah. So, uh, this evening, we are excited to hear. Uh, your story, Candy, from beginning then, and I've been saying on Facebook uh, for for a long time. Me and Candy have known each other for for a long time, uh, long through, time. through Gary, and uh, okay. you know I've it just there's so many things that you've done with your life and <laughs> non wrestling related, uh, non wrestling related, correct? Yes. And, <laughs> and we want to hear about yes, as, as, of course. I got I got now warrior. <laughs> So I just want to get this story from the very beginning, okay. uh, you know, so where you, where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Um, how did you start your, your career in cheerleading, bodybuilding and training? There's just so and, many. Like there's, there's, there's so, so much <laughs> stuff to talk about. So it's start us off here. I'm, I'm going to go while you talk about this. I'm going to okay. go to Facebook and go through a few pictures to give people an idea of like, you know, what we're doing yeah. so no Andy, <laughs> let's okay. start us off here babe all right hi hi okay so, uh yeah i grew up um in a town called hamilton new jersey south jersey of course small italian town very nice people um my dad was a tough sob um we had one of the largest peach farms in the world called demarco's peaches so oh. that's that's i grew up on a farm so that's where i got my you know, hard work ethic from, I guess you could say. Farm girl, um, strong. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, um, so, and I went to school in Hamilton, Hamilton uh, Elementary, Middle, High School. Actually, Hamilton High School is where I met Gary. All right. We are, get, a lot of people don't know this, okay? Gary, his late partner, Anthony, and myself are all from the same town, Hamilton, New Jersey. All right, then get legendary ECW Pitbull Gary Wolf, who is this, who we're talking about, and this is the teamer, the teamer yeah. of the what I like to call the teamer of the wild beast. Yes, yeah. <laughs> someone misunderstood that earlier. They were like, "Oh, did she was Gary's trainer?" And I was like, "No, the no. teamer, the teamer. <laughs> which is oh, teamer." Yeah, yeah, I try to be because he gets a little crazy sometimes. So you guys <laughs> were all in the same class in 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 no. high school. No, uh, Gary is actually, let's see, Gary's 55 now. I'll be 53, May 25th. We were about three years apart. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. and it's funny, too. I have a quick story, if, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, it's uh, Okay, because I only had one boyfriend in high school, so I'm like, uh, I'm, uh, you'll understand. I'm a very boring person. I'm just telling you that right now when it comes to, like. I heard stuff. that. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> so, anyway. I, I was with my, one of my best friends in the world is Annie Hoops. She's a sweetheart. I really love her. And I saw this good looking kid standing outside of English class one day. Good looking. Haven't seen him in a while. I said to my girlfriend, Annie, I said, who the hell's that? She's like, that's Gary Wolf. You can I curse? <laughs> yes. Yes. You fucking idiot. That's what she said. You fucking idiot. So I'm like, okay. I said, so I walked. So I didn't do anything. The next day I got dressed up like Madonna. You know, we're, we're going back to the ladies now, ladies. Okay. I had the lace gloves. I had the lace, you know, the boots, the lace socks, the, the neon belts, the, belt the white that stockings with the little bows. Oh, yeah. I was lace from head to toe. Okay. Lace head to toe. Walked up to him. I'm like, hi, I'm Candy Davis. That was my, my maiden name. I don't know if you remember me or not. So he gives me, you know, the up down like most men do. Okay. So I said to him, I said, you know, would you like to go out sometime? Not even thinking that, you know, this is long before girls ask guys out. So I said, screw it. You know, why not? You know what he said? I heard you have a boyfriend. I said, no, I don't have a boyfriend. He goes, well, somebody told me they're your boyfriend and you're a gyrant. I'm a gyrant. 
mini giraffe. Oh, because, well, what the hell's a giraffe? Like that's something. You gotta that. understand. I'm six foot tall, so I was six foot tall in high school. I went to oh. I went to a school with very small Italian girls. So in other words, I towered over everybody. <laughs> So that's what the job is. Oh, I'm trying to slay out just to make her feel good. I'm like, <laughs> Stay safe. Tall girls over here. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm yeah. I'm, sitting on three, yeah. I'm sitting on three pillows yeah. just to get head to head. Yeah. So we never even go. Question is, are they hemorrhoid pillows? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, they're Ooh. good for that, too. Yeah. <laughs> we can all use them when we know it. So can no, we get a drink here? It was supposed to be green. It was sour apple pucker and some seltzer, but Ooh. it turned black because of the black sprinkles on top. Oh, I love that. That is awesome. But it was Cheers. so green before. Mm, now take a, picture. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> take a picture. We were going to do Midori since it's yeah. Midori Day, but not enough time to get champagne and all these problems. But yeah. back to the story. Yeah. So okay. you know, I thought you were a giraffe. This is a, a, a giraffe. A giraffe. A giraffe. Let's, let's right. get that right. A giraffe. Not a giraffe, giraffe. So so anyway, we always say that it's good that we didn't get together in high school because, you know, we may not be together now. And so after I always played sports in high school, you were asking me how I got involved with, you know, fitness and all this stuff. Yes. I played softball, basketball, cheerleading, um, you name it. I, I I did it. You know what I mean? When it comes to sports, I love, I love sports. I always have. What, what age did you start? Um, it, like active sports, like it, what, was, what, was part, what was first for you? First was sixth grade softball. Softball yeah. always first. Softball. It's always yeah. first. And then yeah. that led to, uh, what led you yeah. to your interest in other things? Like, like what came second and third and fourth and just, you know. Yeah. Second came cheerleading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beca and then uh, third was basketball. And I just, I love basketball. I just love basketball. And I didn't cheerleading. I just fell in love with it from day one. I now, really how, did. how long did you do basketball? Was that from grade school as well? Uh, no, that was from ninth to 12th. That's and high school. I, I saw a, a picture of you, uh, which yeah. I, I think we put it in the advertisement there. Of yeah. Actually playing the, the basketball. And there was a little article there. Of yeah. You. I can't Candy, read Candy. Candy yeah. on defense, yeah. We I lost the game, but, you know, we still got a write-up, so. I can't read the writing, but I'm sure it's, do you remember what it says, like, wrapping it up? So it says something like Candy Standy on defense, and then right under it, but loses to Williamstown. You know what I mean? I'm like, thanks. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie to you. Dandy and everything, but, you know. <laughs> At least you got. At least you got an article, though. Yeah. So which is they call great. me Dandy. I, I can't. I can't argue with that. <laughs> so then after after uh, after the initially uh, the basketball, uh, then mm -hmm. of course during this whole time you're doing cheerleading, right? Absolutely. Yes. yes. And, uh, and, and in high school, in high school, uh, uh, yeah. what, what team was that for? Hamilton Blue Devils. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and I also cheered for the Hamilton Hawks. Yep. Yep. Sweet. And then following uh, high school? Yes. Yes. It's okay. So when well, I got out of high school. Before we get to that, wait, let me just ask you. There's just so much. There, there, there just, is so much. Like, what, was, what was the first date you and Gary went on? I have to ask. Oh, The first date? Oh, yeah. boy. okay. That's a good because one. Because you waited so long from high school. So like once you did, did get to actually. You well, know, I, married, I married and he married. So, of course, I don't date married men. Never have one, never will. So understand that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that shit don't fly. Yeah. It happened to me, so I would never do that to somebody. So anyway, I got married. He got married. I had a kid, Frankie. Um, and I got divorced from my second husband. And I was alone for about a year. And I, his sister, Starlet Wolf, is one of my best friends. And so we were waiting. We we would go clubbing every Friday night, dancing and shit like that. You know, because the ex had my son on the weekend. So we'd have a blast. So, you know, we were sitting there drinking our martini and she's, I, I looked at Star and I said, Star, you know, it's just, divorce is great, but I'm lonely. You know, I'm really lonely. She goes, what about Gary? What about my brother? I'm like, no, 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 he's married. I, I don't know. No. She goes, no, he's not. He's separated. He left her two weeks ago. I'm like, well, that's a quick turnaround period, but. Good time. Like, right, right. emoji. I know. That's what I was. I was like, two weeks. <laughs> That's kind of fast. The bitch ain't going to like me, but what am I going to do? 
So the next week she said, I'll call him when I get home tonight and he will meet us here at the club next weekend. Okay. Angel, you'll appreciate this story. Okay. <laughs> so we get to the club the next weekend and there's Gary, Rich Vigna, a bunch of his friends, you know, and a bunch of guys from Hamilton, you know, we're all from the same town. So it's his sister star. So he knows me, he knew, you know, of course he remembered me, but at this point, I had just, I'm trying to think, I won Miss Fitness five years previous, so I was still pretty jacked, I'm not going to lie. I, I still, I didn't look like a man, but I was, you know, I was built, you know, mm -hmm. and so, <laughs> you sure I can say, you, you sure I can say, look good. I mean, I, I saw, yep. <laughs> always. <laughs> Oh, you guys are sweet. Okay, so, so apparently, apparently, I'm not going to say what he took before he got to the club, but apparently it's something that makes you, what's the word I'm looking for? Have um, diarrhea of the mouth. Oh, okay. There so you I don't go. know what it was, and I don't ask questions. I don't, you know, that's okay. First thing he says to me, first thing he says to me is, my God, you're beautiful. Can I take you in a closet and eat you out? Oh shit! Well, he did that forward and just like so. Dude, he's so Gary Wolf. That's so Pitbull. But oh, I, I was just like, no. What kind of girl do you think I am? Oh God! I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's like again, thinking emoji. Thinking. Why? <laughs> you know maybe, what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe I should because it's been a fucking year. You know what I mean? Hey. But, so what we did is we we just ended up really getting along well. We you know what I mean? So we were seeing each other for about a week and we hadn't had intercourse yet. I, I guess that's, I don't want to say anything. Yeah, else. Not intercourse. Yeah. yeah. All right. We didn't fuck yet. So yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> coitus. 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 <laughs> and intercourse and all that. Yes. Let's we talk about all you know, of it. We didn't do this yet, but yeah. You know, yeah. So anyway, so he had a two, <laughs> he had a, you'll appreciate this. He had a two week tour coming up in Puerto Rico. Now, this is typical Gary Wolf. For anybody, especially women that don't know Gary, like, privately, he is, like, everybody's like, oh, my God, he's such a pig. He wants to do this. This motherfucker, okay, I wanted to get laid so bad. I was so horny. You know what he did to me? Well, I'll be back from Puerto Rico in two weeks. Can you wait? Motherfucker. Oh, no. I can't. I I passed the test, fortunately, for vibrators, but I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're going to need one after a Puerto Rico trip. There's one. Oh, yeah. Puerto Rico. I went through about four batteries. Yeah. Oh, but, um, mm. but, oh Gary, yeah. It's like Gary, Gary. <laughs> I just, I've known Gary probably my whole life. Um, yeah. I think, like, you know, and then when I met you, I was like, you know what? I couldn't see anyone more perfect that I've ever met for Gary ever. Like, I, he, it's like you guys are the same person almost. I, like, in a way where, like, you, you got the same kind of thinking and the same kind, like, you're cool to hang out with. And, like, I don't I don't know anyone who's ever said a bad word about you or, get, like, I, no one looks at you like, oh, well, this, oh, yeah, that candy and this. I've never heard a bad word. Or Gary, oh, Gary's such a son of a bitch. I've never heard anyone say a bad word about Gary at all. Um, no. We've known each other for a long time. I think you, you fit him the best out of like any, any women that I, I had ever seen around him. Uh, I got this favorite <laughs> picture that I have of you that I'll bring up later, but um, let's, let's go back. Uh, we'll sort of rewind it a little bit to uh, let's talk about the cheerleading a little bit. Um, all right. So after high school, then yeah. But how did you get into? Uh, I got pictures here that I'm going to show mm -hmm. after you talk about it. Uh, okay. You were a cheerleader for. Tell us what what teams and what years. Uh, okay, the Philadelphia 76ers. I cheered for them for three years, which it's only a one year you know thing. It's, it's seasonal, but they kept me on for three years because I'm also a professional choreographer, so I was able to put dances together, routines, you know, not just cheer. You know, I was able to do all kinds of stuff. And the reason I did the Sixers cheerleaders, I just, I always loved the Sixers. I, I All through high school, I loved the Philadelphia 76ers. And then in high school, there was one girl from my town, very small town, like I said, maybe 1,500 people tops. I don't even know. It was very small. 
And she was a Sixers cheerleader. And I always kind of looked up to her. So when I found out that the Sixers were having tryouts at the Spectrum there, I took a little ride up and uh, did my thing and I made the team, which I was very surprised because I didn't think I would. At the time, I wasn't a good dancer. I mean, I was self-taught, you know what I mean? But cheerleading I was good at, but the dancing, you got to understand like teams like the Sixers and they really don't cheer. It's more of a dance team. We were called the dream team. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a dance thing than a cheer thing, but I just loved it. I, I loved the people. Um, the players were amazing. So nice. The fans. Uh, yeah, they were okay. Uh, you know, they get drunk and <laughs> smack in the ass a couple times. Oh, you know, right. try, to grab, try to grab the hoo-hahs, the girls. Uh, of course. And then they get lost out on their ass. But, you know, yeah, it was fun. And I made a lot of friends who I am still friends with to today. Now, the dance choreography, what... Um, now, what what type of dance do they do? They usually uh, like what kind of choreography did you hit hip hop or or like I do, exactly what? I do everything. You call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's everything. I do everything. I can do rock. I could do hip hop. I could do retro. I could do techno. I could do. I, I hate to even say because I can't stand country music. I'm sorry to everybody out there that likes country music. I can't even do. Country, put a routine together a country um you could do the two step in the you know the line dancing, dough and line dancing. Yeah, yeah. Line oh yeah oh yeah i got that shit down yeah i'll, I'll tell you what candy it, this is where i go yeah. with dancing like oh yeah. you're like harry that, 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 this, this is, is me harry. i dance with my hands and my arms that that's about that's it harry. and a little bit maybe go like this a few times you know yeah. You gotta work. The, you gotta work the girls in sometimes. Exactly. I do the two step. I'm just the two you do the two step. Yeah. I can see you, girl. Do the two oh, yeah. step. Oh, oh yeah. cool. It's so, okay. In front of my mirror. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In, in front of the mirror, yeah. where there's nowhere to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my during favorite. COVID. You were getting down during COVID. I got oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, parties in my room, <laughs> just by myself. You definitely have to away. Keep yourself yeah. occupied so we don't go crazy. Oh, yeah, going crazy yeah i know exactly <laughs> uh, yeah. so bill lassiter and kevin academy has joined us hey guys uh um, you're talking anymore, to candy but... about uh this just great story that we have now moving on from uh from the sixers then yes. uh other teams i i was invited to cheer for the eagles okay mm -hmm. now the reason i didn't okay because I'm not a girly girl. I'm more of a tomboy. I, I, Angel, you know that. Yes. I know you know that. And I'd rather cheer with 13 girls than 36 bitches. You see what I'm saying? Because the Eagles have 36 cheerleaders. It's just going to be drama, heads button. You know me. I want to throw punch a bitch if I have to. Exactly. I yeah. don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. And they were all dating the players. I don't get down with that shit. I'm sorry. I think you weren't allowed to date the players. Yeah, there's rules. There's ways around everything. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was like a, a stern rule for the cheerleaders, like uh, no messing around. It's like the workplace. I you guess, can't mess around with people. Right. Work, but but I guess it would be like telling like a, a, a manager or a valet, oh, you can't date this wrestler, you know. True. But then if True. you do, they call you a rat. So it's True. like it's like so, so many different terms for, for stuff. Mm -hmm. So right. um, after the cheerleading, or I guess during the cheerleading, was uh, how did you – uh, find yourself in in like Miss New Jersey and the beauty competitions. Now, did that come before the bodybuilding or after, or were you always in the bodybuilding? Of course. Yeah, I was always. Well, I was never really into bodybuilding, and I, I just I don't like that word because it makes women look like men. Uh, you right. know, and I was more into the fitness. Health it was more of a physique thing. I wanted to still look like a, a woman, you know, like a lady. Mm -hmm. Um. I got into, no, I'm sorry. You have to repeat that. I apologize. Um, were you okay. me? It, when, it were, so you were always into health and fitness, you know, like yes. your body in shape, maybe did you train people and stuff like that? Yes. So okay. then, when did you uh, get into like competitions where you actually competed on stage and, you know, for pageants? yes. For pageants, uh, I'd have to say probably 96, 97. Yeah, I, I did. Um, well, I had to, there's, you know, you have to start out small and then move your way up. So I, I got into um, uh, it was called Miss Garden State. 
And when you win Miss Garden State, you qualify to go on to Miss New Jersey. There you go. Yeah. There that was Miss Garden State. Yeah, and that was it. Miss Garden State. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Now, that's when I won Miss Garden State. And when you win that, you can go on to Miss America. Okay. Oh. So I was, yeah. Yes, so I qualified. I qualified for Miss America. Um, I went in obviously as Miss New Jersey. Okay, looked. I looked very beautiful. All that. Um, I, that picture right there. Yeah, that's my photo. Yep, that one. Beautiful, fantastic, Candy. Fantastic, Thank you. girl. <laughs> I had to get that. I had to get that whole dress rebuilt because of my body. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you. So that's I, that's how I became Miss New Jersey, but I did not qualify. Uh, I, I was in Miss America, okay, mm -hmm. but I didn't qualify high enough to to win. But what's nice, what they do with Miss America is if you don't qualify to win, there's something called Miss North America. So I moved on to Miss North America and I won that, but unfortunately, I don't have any photos of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. I did that. And that was one of the last beauty pageants I did. Yeah. So this is, uh, this right here, is this the Sixers team? Yeah, that's the Sixers team. We're missing a few girls in the picture, but yeah, that's us. That's in the locker room. Yep. Right here. Excuse me. And then we got yeah. here, let's see. Oh, here's you with the, uh, what's that? Oh, that's Joe. That's Joe. Yeah, he, he rolls, man. He was the best. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There's a, a what, go back to that. There's you and Gary. That's oh, that's, a, one, that's right? in Clearwater. Yeah, that's in Clearwater. Yep. When you guys first moved to Florida, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I love it. Here. Let's see. We got uh, some pictures here of yeah. That's uh, uh, well, that's my brother. Oh, that's me at the bar <laughs> with a beer. Yes. Uh, that's, yeah. A my bunch favorite of stuff. pictures of you. I know you always I, love this because you love, love the dark hair. I do. I really love dark hair on you. I think it looks beautiful. Um, oh. I, like I hate it on myself, but it's it's like when other people you see, you know, changes in. Oh, there's you with the bar. There's you with the bar. Yeah. That's us at the bar watching the Steelers game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get to a certain pit. There's you and your your bestie, right? That's Loretta Leonetti. She is one of the greatest people in the world. She is my sister from another mister. The best. She, she is the yin to my yang. I love her. I she's love her. I'm trying to get her ass down here to Florida. She's now, great. That's now, this is green. I wanted to make another one just to show you. Uh, I'm so proud of you, girl. I, you can get the green. Oh, <laughs> that's 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 a shot. oh, that's a shot. That's okay, a now, that, <laughs> that was my 60th birthday picture. Wow. Um, Okay. I had to do something for my fiftieth. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That's, oh, that was something. That was for your fiftieth. <laughs> that was my fiftieth. Yeah. Wow. That's oh, a lot of Loretta. Yes. As you, yep. That's my, well, look how young we were. Oh Aww. shit. That is She's so hot. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Here's graduating class. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to find pictures of your son here. Oh, Frankie? Your son. Yeah, let's talk about Frankie a little bit. Uh, first, oh. uh, when did you get married? When's the first time you got married? The first time I got married, uh, I don't remember the year. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's just like all a blur. It, it was so bad. Um, but the one good thing I did get out of it was Frankie. And what had happened was not to get too specific. Not that he, you know what? Fuck him. I can talk what I can say what I want. There's my first right. wedding. Okay. I was going to say whatever you want. Absolutely. That's my mom. That's my dad in the middle. Yeah, my mom, man. You if you know anything about me, you would have loved my mom. She was a godsend. She was oh, beautiful. Okay, so anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so I got married and I had my, uh, I got married because I was pregnant. <laughs> I had to. I came from an Italian, fa Irish and Italian family who believed that you're pregnant, you're getting married. So I did you know, obviously to the wrong man, but it's okay. I got a kid out of it. And Frankie's great. But this is what happened when, okay, he worked, my, my first husband worked nights. He was a truck driver. And of course, you know, during the day I was sleeping. When Frankie sleeps, as you know, with babies, babies, <laughs> you got to sleep when they sleep. So Frankie, uh, he, got, my ex-husband got in late one, one morning, very late. 
and he had like a black leather coat and he had it thrown on the sofa and he had white, like it looked like powder, baby talcum powder or something on there. And which is odd because he never powdered his balls or anything like that. <laughs> not so gross. Right. I, yeah, yeah, some men like should. Not- <laughs> I know as they should sweaty balls, sweaty balls. Um, so I don't know what made me think it, to do this because I don't do drugs, but I went and I licked it. It was cocaine. It was cocaine. We were living on welfare and this fucker's out doing blow. Okay. The same night I packed up Frankie's shit, packed up my shit. We went right to my mom's house. I told him, listen, now this, That's yeah, good. yeah. You got you got to be strong sometimes and walk away from situations like that, especially when you have a child. Because you, I don't, I didn't want not want my son around that scene at all, at all. Yeah. So, no, that shit. He, yeah. So once we divorced, he asked me. He goes, you know, when can I see Frankie? I'm like, uh, I really don't want you to see Frankie, only because of your habits that I don't want my kid around. You know, I didn't even say it was his kid. I just said my kid, and. So he goes, well, I'm not going to pay a child support. I said, good, because you're not going to see your son. So I went on welfare. I went on welfare. I did everything I had to do. Okay. I lived with my mom and I raised him pretty much as a single mom until, until my second husband, obviously. But yeah. Well, that's awesome. Um, I I made the right choice. Absolutely. (laughs) Because you, you don't need especially a man bringing you down. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, now, a few interesting things about Frankie is yeah. that Frankie plays the sax, right? He plays a few instruments, yeah. He's played, <laughs> he's played with uh, a, a, some names, right? Yes. He's played with yes. a lot of names. And, and, a lot of names, yep. and, uh, yeah. Yeah, really, he lives in Miami now? In Miami, yes, he did. Yep, just bought a house, yeah. That's fantastic. Now, yeah. what, what is this troop of gals here? Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. That was our country western dance that we had to do for the Sixers. Now, there's a funny story behind that, okay? All right. How do I say this without being wrong? Okay. Do you re- Do you guys remember the song Cotton Eye Joe? Yes. Okay. You know that was a, what that song was about, right? Not really. <laughs> I'll be yeah. honest with you. I'm not really. Not really. Okay, well, it, uh, how do I say Was this? Racist or very, oh, okay. very racist. Oh, very racist. Hot Joe was about a a black man who was living uh, amongst white people who were very racist to Cotton Eye Joe. So if you look in the picture, okay, we had three beautiful African American girls that cheered with us. Do you see them in there? No, not at all. <laughs> They're like, fuck that, we ain't dancing to that song. Right, right. They they knew what it meant back then. They knew what it meant. They weren't stupid. Listen, we all felt so bad. I swear to goodness. We felt so bad. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, that must have been a little uncomfortable, I can imagine. Um, It was. It was. I mean, thank God the girls were so cool and so sweet. You know what I mean? They were okay with it. Oh, that's my cheerleading camp. But, yeah, it it was just a trap, man. So, uh, yeah, some things are so uncomfortable. I'm trying to it get to the intentional, other... though. Like, it's, you know. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, my God. Oh, that's dad. Oh, it's my dad. Yeah, how, many, how many uh, pit bulls do you, you and Gary have now? We have two now. We just rescued one in June. That's Zombie. Uh, he's a big boy. Yeah. He's Here's five. Here's a picture of you, Kid Candy. Oh, yeah, that's me taming the shrew there. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I always said that I I wanted to see you as, you know, the Pitbull's manager. I wanted to see you ringside with Gary always. Yeah. Like this, this right here, this picture right here, is <laughs> everything. It says, and look at that. That's a oh. hot promo pic. That's oh, thank you. I mean, better than, really better than any, of, any of the pictures that. You know, I'm I'm not knocking anyone. I'm just saying. Well, yeah. Yeah. Time out. Isn't that fucked up that we have to say that? It is. Whatever happened, listen, whatever happened to going up to people with a good old fashioned go fuck yourself? Now you do that. You know what they do? I'm calling the cops. Why? Two because cents. you're an asshole. Two it's cents. The internet. Yeah, yeah. They're a bunch of fucking pussies. Is what they are. 
Yeah, Sorry. people are like um, a little bit too much, too sensitive about too many things now. And uh, you really can't say anything to anyone. But I'm going to say, you know, yeah, yeah, we can yeah. say, I'm going to say that I, 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 I like, I like your image with Gary the yeah. best. <laughs> that I've ever seen him. I know I've seen him next to a lot of female faces and everything, but yeah. <laughs> he he belongs uh, uh, right there on all fours under you. Right. On the beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I'm you. saying, Gary? Yeah, I know you're watching. You know what I'm saying, babe? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. But can I tell you why though? There is a reason why. Gary didn't want me in the business with him, and I don't blame him. Yeah, wrestlers are pigs. I love wrestlers. They're so sweet. They're the sweetest guys in the world, but they're pigs. Yeah, no, horrible. I, I agree. <laughs> I had to deal with it all my life. and I know, horrible. babe. That's why I said it, you know. Yeah, yeah horrible. So I, I wouldn't. I, I just didn't. want. Well, that's his business. You know what I mean? I had my cheerleading and my health and my fitness and all that. He's got his wrestling, and that, that works good for both of us. Right. Yeah. It's not good for, for a girlfriend to get in the business. It's just, it's just too much, you know. I agree. Uh, yeah. So... Yes. Yeah, so through the uh, did did now did you do the body any bodybuilding competitions that I yeah I, okay tell yeah. me about bodybuilding please well, I'm, I'm like I'm looking for the pictures furiously on this piece of junk phone over here I can't find anything on here please tell me, when did you start in in the competitions and what titles did you win well how I started was uh, bathing suit competitions because I wanted to learn how to walk on stage in a bathing suit and heels in front of people and not be shy, you know, because it's different. Well, that's after I won Miss Fitness. Yeah. Awesome. But if you, there is a picture of me. I'm in a gold, like, LeMay bathing suit. Um, I won Best Body on the Beach with that. Uh, I don't see it, but it's okay. It's um, probably on one of your other three Facebooks. <laughs> it probably is. We I all have move. all these Facebooks. Look, look at that. Look at that Dude, right I, there. Oh, they're my cheerleaders. Yeah, that's my Steels girls. I love them. Awesome. God, they're uh, so great. They're so great. But yeah, no, I always liked fitness. I mean, it was always fun for me. <laughs> for the but whole don't tell them. Oh, yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Right? Like, for the love of God. Like Not the, be offended. The, the I mean, if they're listening to us and popping us up. Oh, here's a cute pic. Yeah. Oh, that's when I played softball. Dave's trans, good old Dave's transmission. Oh yep. That's Shout awesome. Out. How so old were you there? Uh, I was a pitcher. Oh, how old? I was in sixth grade. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, was about there. oh, girl. Oh. There's my son. There's Frankie. There's my boy. Oh, Look at that looks like his mama. Huh? Like mommy, yeah. like, like, well, like I wasn't mommy, expecting like anything son. different, right? Oh. <laughs> and then vice versa. He looks Let me great. Tell you something. Awesome. I am so proud of that boy. I, 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 is I he love a him so much. Man? He's single. What's that? Is he single? Yes, he's <laughs> single. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's singular, he's, man. He's, he's his wife singular. right now is his music, so we're going to oh. keep it at that. <laughs> awesome. He's, awesome. Too. he's like, Mom, I don't want kids. I hate kids. I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't care. There's uh, another one of you and your friend. So we're not on this. She's my bestie. Yep. And this, this says a lot as well. Yes, we can disagree and still be friends. Right? Mm -hmm. I right? say, I tell people all the time, like, yes. some people are the type of people who could get along with everyone and be friends with everyone. And then some people are just mm -hmm. the type of people who can't be friends with anyone. Anyway. <laughs> right. Like, right. Like I, myself. You know what? This is what I always say. It's good we don't fit in. That means we're not assholes. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone right. else like, yeah. seems to be uh, knuckleheaded these days. No so, common sense, hon. No common sense. Not at all. Here's that yeah. basketball picture we were talking about. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Dan, Dan, gonna be yeah. Awesome well, we still picture. Love, love it. Thank I you. Love it. Cool. See, Thank it you. shows like how many different things you've done. Oh, here's that yeah. picture, Candy. Here it is. Baby. That was my, oh God. Oh, oh, by the way, that was, that was pre-boob job, just so you know. <laughs> As you can see. that body. Oh my God, it was horrible, and I won. I can't believe I won that. Wow. That was in Mar That was in Margate, New Jersey. Best body on the beach. Here's a little guy. Oh, uh, I'm going to see him out of her. Yeah. Him. It is here. The little He's Gary. Here. Little guy. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. So, he's oh, wait a minute. Here goes some, some, uh, all right, oh. there we go. That's my mom's house. 
That was me going to the hop in my all lace as I was, you know, my Madonna phase there. Oh, uh, I think we all had the Madonna phase. I'm yeah. still in the Madonna phase. Are you shouldn't me. You know what? Oh, me too. Yeah, right? From I'm time time still time. wearing tutus. Oh. Right. Tutus and lace and like like I'm a child. I, I can't get out of it. Me too. There's a lot of things you do, but you can't see it if we were it. So no, I was like, going to wear it, but I was like, I let let me not. I'm like, I'm being really childish with no. the tutus here. But uh, yeah, oh, you're going to do one. Oh, that was yeah, that was um, I believe I was 51 there, and that was Sun West Beach, beautiful place, right down here, right down the street in Florida. Wow, look at this mm -hmm. one. Oh, now oh. that's not me. Oh, that's not I, you. I'm sorry. That is a very good friend of mine. Her name's Angelica. Actually, do you know who she is, Angel? No. <laughs> she's Bill Alfonso's niece. Get out of here. Yeah, she's fucking awesome, dude. She, she went in the army and everything. She's a sweetheart. This, she this, she acts. That's, uh, yeah, that's Bill's. That's oh, Bill's yeah. niece. You know what? She, yeah. She kind of looks a little resemblance. She looks just like Bill. I swear to God. She talks yeah. like him. Wow. Yep. She calls it right down the middle. All right, you girl. <laughs> Very oh, she's a doll. I I'm love her. Just looking through your timeline here. No, you're cool. You're good. I'm like uh, looking in here, but it's also yeah, on we, here. So it's yeah, like, I got my back today. We all share the same. Uh, got my back. We all yeah. share the, the same vaccine oh, yeah. shots here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Jack. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Jack. What, what year did you and Gary move uh, to Florida? We moved down here in 2014. 2014. Yeah, so, so we've been here a, a while, and I, I really, I, I got to be honest with you, ladies, it's the best move we ever made. Mm. Yeah. Love it. Oh, that's me at the prom. <laughs> oh, the prom. Look at that oh, hair. No. Oh, oh, the so hair. Nice. We missed the hair it's from back there. The, the boots on the hair. Oh. Yeah, no, that's my prom it's picture. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I used so much Aquanet in my hair and teased it so much, I gave it a complex. Love it. Oh, Love this. That's, yeah, that's that's the locker room of the Sixers going over our Christmas routine. Love yeah. it. Love no, it. It's gal again, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's yeah, oh. that's me. That's Lori Penza. That, yeah, like, that would represent no. the 80s. Like, you know. Yes. Dude, if, if you didn't know the 80s, you could look at that picture and say, yeah. that's 80s. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's in the book. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly, honey. It's like the 80s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I honestly, like I've said this a million times before, and I right. think that you should write a book because I mean yeah. you've, you've lived a life, you know, a life that's full and and okay. and good. You know, you have good people in your life, and you've done like successful things with yourself, and you know, it's people and women like you who are an inspiration that, you know, more of the younger girls who are out there right now should maybe look up to and look up to as an inspiration of what they could do with their lives and how they can, you know, have a plan and follow along with something and, you know, stay on the road and, you know, steady. So right. you know, make something out of themselves instead of like, you know, worrying about fucking twerking and shaking their ass and doing whatever the fuck they're doing. We, I don't even know what my I hate that shit. Right I can't work and I'm a pro dancer. <laughs> no, figure. seriously. It's 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 okay. it's ridiculous. Uh, a it's lot of people me. don't have the motivation to to do things and actually get things for themselves. And then there's yeah. women like you who have uh, worked from grade school to high school and to into adulthood and just like achieved probably everything that, you know, a lot of girls would look at you and be so jealous and be like, oh, you know, I've always wanted to do that. Is there anything that you wanted to do that you didn't get a chance to? Yes, ma'am. I wanted to be a rocket. Oh. Well, but when you're a rocket, you can't yeah. have a child. But, but you, you didn't try out, did you? No, I did not try out. I had a kid. And I bet that if you mm -hmm. would have tried out, if yeah. you don't try. That would have been yeah. something else that we would have been talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. And my mom always wanted me to do that as well. Like she wanted me to be a rocket because my leg, you know, my height and all. All and those legs it. too. All those yeah. legs would have been so great for the Rockettes. They would have benefited off of you, Candy. It's their loss, baby. Honestly. It's their Thank loss. Thank you. 
That's the only thing I, I really want to go go. Just, just to see you kick those legs up, baby. Yeah, I've never been. I would go if she, yeah. No, no in my luck, I'd kick somebody in the ass, though, you know. <laughs> Shoot them flying off at me. Right oh, yeah. Right. Oh, you know, a boob like, would pop out, you know. Yeah, I'd be like filming you. Go, oh, Candy, go. And you'd yeah. be hitting me in my face with your shoe. Yeah. yeah. Throwing your pom-poms in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn it, Angel. Shut up. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Enough of what you're screaming down there. <laughs> I like to, I like to be of, like, you know, a, adequate support system. Yeah. When, when I see ladies doing things, strong ladies like yourself, you know, who really have it going, I, I like to... You actually have talent. Yeah, yeah, who actually have talent yeah. and something going for them. You know, this is something that uh, a lot of ladies coming up need, need to hear the story yeah. of someone with strength you know, and Thanks. someone who's still going. Did, okay. so you got any plans for the future? To, uh, except for relaxing and being with your fantastic man. And, you know, um, what's going on? You guys got like like conventions and are you going to any of these conventions at all? No, huh? not to, you know, that's like more. I said, I try to stay out of that picture because that's, you know, I just... I, don't know, I got the two dogs here now, and it's, it's I just hard to talk you into it so you come to Philly and I can snatch you away yeah. and go drinking with you. That's all. Well, that, I'm trying to talk you into something you don't want to like, do so that I can have my It's way. like an underlying <laughs> scheme. Like, we're trying to get her here. Like, exactly. <laughs> no, you no, no. Me, you let him run yeah. off with yeah. those, uh, yeah, well, whoever they are, yeah. you know? Yeah, right, exactly. Now, I will. Be, I have to come back. I yeah. do have to see my friends, my family. I do have to come back. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. Ab it, the next time, actually, that we could sit around and talk like this, maybe we could all be having a drink together in the same room and, uh, you know, just catch oh, yeah. up yeah. on what we're going over. Uh, I, <laughs> I, for the, the first episode here of Favorite Facebook Friends, that this was probably uh, my, it was my best choice. I couldn't oh, think oh. of anyone better to have as a friend. <laughs> guest than you and we've talked about this for so long we wanted to do this because yeah. it, it's just like there's it's just, it's just so much that's untold you know and i'm sure that you still yeah. have a lot to say about a I lot do. of things but um, you know yeah. what we've covered you're you know you, you played softball you played basketball you you health and fitness i won't say body cheerleading <laughs> and cheerleading and 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 uh, like miss miss, miss New Jersey, yes. you know, yes. um, do we have a couple of minutes? Our life and not get to accomplish okay. even one of these things. So the fact yeah. that you have bravo, oh. Andy, bravo. Thank you. The problem, you know what? You just said something, Angel, that made a lot of sense. Girls today need to build each other up, and they're not. No, instead of saying, you know what, Christina, you're a beautiful girl, oh, they'll thanks. come at you and be, they'll come at you and be like. Who's this bitch? That's like, why I don't mess with no one. Come candy. on. That's why you know, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need that in this world today. We need love. We need support. I, we need to be building each other up. Absolutely. Okay. My mom was my biggest cheerleader. You know what she told me the best advice she ever gave me? Go out and fail. It gives you thick skin. Yeah. So when you exactly. go try again, you're going to get it. Right. And she was fucking right. right. Yeah. She was yeah. right. Now, do we have like, do we have five minutes? Yeah, we got as much time as you want, babe. Okay, okay. Um, I just wanted to tell you a few things about like some bad shit I went through in my life, I guess. Um, yeah, well, let's get to it. I mean, it's it part all. of your story. I want to get mm -hmm. as much of your story well, in as we can. So please, anything that you've left out, I'm going to sit back yeah. now and I want you to just let it <laughs> all the way back. Okay. We're sitting all well, the, way. The, re the reason I want to say what I have to say is because everything I did was because of this one thing, okay? When I married my second husband, all right, we were trying to have another child, a child. Frankie was with my first, obviously. We were trying to have a child to get Frankie a brother or a sister. So my ex-husband was afraid to go get tested. So I, I went and got tested, you know, just to see why I wasn't getting pregnant, you know? I'm a fertile myrtle. I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting pregnant. Thank God I went. Turned out I had cervical cancer. Yeah. And... That was horrible. All right. I I cried for, I can't even tell you how long. I, I just, I was only 24 years old. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. So I went, you know, I went and I did the radiation, the chemotherapy. I lost my hair. Um, actually, there's a picture. That picture of me went, it, right after I won Miss Fitness on the back of the boat. If you, you, you can look at that picture and see how short my hair was. Yes. Okay. That I beat cancer while I, I, I won Miss Fitness while I was beating cancer. Unbelievable. What? what? Yeah. What? I was diagnosed. Okay. Went for my round of chemo and radiation. Was laying in bed for two weeks sick as a friggin' dog. I said, I am not doing this again. So what I did, it took me a while, and I'm not, and I'm not telling women to do this. Yeah, I see how You're short my hair. You're talking about this right here. Yeah, I see my hair. Going through treatments right here. I was, and and this was after I won Miss Fitness. So I had cancer while I was competing, and what happened was I just. I was in bed for two weeks straight, sick as a dog. And my ex-husband and I had a home gym in our house. So I just got up one day and I started working the um, stationary bike. Obviously, sorry about my nose. It's, I have allergies so bad. Um, I just, you know, rode the bike for maybe a minute or two. That's all I could do. And then I worked my way up to the treadmill. And then, you know, slowly but surely built myself up to feeling good enough to go to a gym. And let me tell you something. That first workout I ever had was a godsend. I felt I was sore as shit the next day, as you all know. You you work out. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I've never felt so good in my life. I looked at my mom and I said, fuck cancer. I don't want it. I'm like, I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it. I went back a year later, you know what the doctor told me? Because you got your ass out of bed and you went to the gym, you ate right, you took your medicine, you did everything you were supposed to do, you beat it. That's so I was really proud of myself. I was really happy. And what's another strange thing is nobody in my family has cancer. Wow. I I was the only one. I didn't even know if you were like predisposed to, you know. Well, you know what? It's again, another incredible fact, a a, a cancer survivor and, and to, to win a competition, (laughs) you know, a while through all that is just the, the amazing strength that you have just like just that alone like uh, uh, it's just incredible well i can't say that a lot of women would be able to deal with that and and you know just even get up in the morning and look at themselves or even put themselves right. together let alone go They're to like, the I'm gym done. I'm and done work out yeah. just, and continue you know, life and move on yeah. so like you know to be a cancer survivor and then move on with your life that you're still here and thank god <laughs> and thank god for you you had frankie when you did yeah that that's you know, why I always say, you know, uh, God knew one and done. He was right. <laughs> yeah. So no, no matter how you look at it, it, it was actually a blessing. Some people are meant to come in your life for one reason and then they, you know. Thank you. You're exactly right, honey. There's exactly. That Just like you. Yeah. <laughs> I get that it. one person. <laughs> right. So but that's, what, that's kind of what gave me the drive to do everything I, I did. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I couldn't, I'm going through your, again, through through your Facebook here. Oh, okay, that's my girls, okay. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just can't, I can't believe that. Uh, you know, cause I, I gotta say that I- And at that know, age too, like, it's just, I don't know. In, trying to in, still wrap my head 20s. around it. Like, and this is, this is, uh, you know, it's sort of like a, a thing for ladies to listen to, you know, mm. get checked as often as you can every three to five years because you never know no matter how old you are between you know 30 and 50 Mm -hmm. anything can happen that you don't expect and you could have plans for yourself but you know then your body has other plans for you so um, yeah yeah. and then we have to adapt to it you know yeah yeah survive and overcome everyone Mm -hmm. yeah all the ladies uh get yourself checked out and, you know, even if, yeah. if you're not identifying as a lady right now, when, you know, when you get like to your 40s, between your 40s and 50s, you'll know, you'll know when you'll you're know a lady. <laughs> you'll, you'll know. You know, <laughs> there's no getting around that one. You you know, I, I, I have something to say about that, but I'm, I'm going to keep my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> I, you know what? I should, you can read my mind. I know what you're reading my mind right now. Yeah, I probably I know we feel the same I, way about this. Yeah, I should keep my mouth no, shut. You should. I usually do. Um, that's what gets you know, me most of my trouble. Well, I'm going to tell you something funny my mom would always say, okay? All right. My mom died put 
Oh, that's me working out. Um, <laughs> my mom died quite a few years ago. And her favorite saying in the world was, God don't make junk. Okay? God don't make junk. And she was right. Until <laughs> we went to Walmart about maybe two years before she passed away. And this is when kids were getting really bad. Like hitting their moms and throwing, you know, toys and stuff at their moms and stuff. So I said, Mom, I said, Mom, I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking around. I said, see these kids around here? She's like, yeah. I said, you still think God don't make junk? She goes, I think God took a goddamn long ass cigarette break on these. <laughs> like you go to Walmart and you'll find out. Oh, shit. Like, oh, yeah. Mom. It's like walking into a different, like a different dimension. Going like, to that place. I would have beat the shit out of you if you did this to me. I'm like, yeah, I know. These parents just accept it and give the kids the candy. No wonder why they, they're diabetic at 13. You know what? I'll tell you what. I I get I when I had a wrestling school at the time in South Philly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I get in a ring. You were you were there, you and Gary used to work out a lot. Well, I used to get in a ring with this one over here, and I would be like all right, you know, lock up, do this and this, this. Oh, no. and then right after the lock up, I would say, all right, now punch me in the face. And she would, no, no, I don't want to. No, don't want to. Like, I couldn't get her to hit me. I couldn't right. she could do all the moves and everything, but I couldn't get her to hit me. So, oh. you know, that was like, just for fun sake. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we all do. Mother, like, you're my mom. <laughs> yeah, kids are nuts, right? I, I wanted her to hit me, but she'll hit everybody else. And mom, cry. Mom's like, nuts. Mom's nuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I like, hit kids in the in the face in karate class. That's no problem. But my mom, no. <laughs> that's that's very good. Yeah, I, these these kids are are so disrespectful. I think that um, in in all this that that we've learned that by by talking to you and i hope other ladies will be listening to this that it, it you can absolutely achieve anything if you put your mind to it and you can overcome even if it's something so severe as cancer uh if you're a strong enough person like yourself you know you you can overcome and and lead a a normal productive and happy life you know um w- without you know, having to, well, you don't worry about the future anymore, you know? Nah, dude. Let me with, tell you something. So many things, more. I don't give a shit. I had a good 52 years on this earth. With so many like, things going on wrong in this world, you know, you just got to yeah. live every day. Hey, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. <laughs> I, yes, I think we all are. Take it as it comes. <laughs> God, have a great time. You know, it, honey. You know, Christine. <laughs> Take it as it comes. And Jim I'm going to you know. go <laughs> Right here to my one of my favorite. Oh, our left me that oh, day. We love you. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. we had so much fun that day. Yes, Christine, and you. We had a blast. Hair. Different hair. I love oh, yeah. yeah, mom had blonde. <laughs> yeah, I will get back to blonde uh, v- very soon. <laughs> it's a summer. It took, it took me eight years. It took me eight years, girl. I stopped coloring my hair when I started going through that fucking menopause shit. Yeah, oh, so it's hard to, you know, keep the grays from popping out every yeah. other day and everything. I know. I got, that's why I got it. I said I can't take looking at the grays anymore. So. Yeah, I saw the, uh, you just got it done from dark to, to back to blonde. And I was like, yeah, yeah. back to my yeah. blonde, girl. I love it. <laughs> it is back. It's all blonde <laughs> under here, I promise. It is. <laughs> it is. I, I, I kept it blonde. But anyhow, <laughs> I hope that anyone who's watching has learned uh, quite a bit of of candy and from your story and, and can learn quite a bit uh, about how to conduct themselves in life and in interviews even, you know, because yeah, I thought absolutely. this was a great interview. And it, like every other great imaginable. Uh, like, is there yeah. anything that she can't do? Like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't help, say like, so. Hey, you I don't know. know. Don't if, dare me because I'll try it. <laughs> Be, and before, I'm sure you'll succeed. So. Before we end this, right? Yeah. I yeah. saw this show more recently called Fit to Fat. Have you ever yeah. heard of this? Oh, God. No. It's only like two seasons. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to okay. tell you the concept of it. It's uh, it, it, personal trainers okay. are totally cut, you know, like in the best shape of their lives. Right. And then they, they take on clients 
that are severely overweight and have been resistant all their lives to lose weight and all that jazz, you know, you know the story. So they then, uh, so let's say the, the, let's say it's you. Let's use okay. this as an example here. Okay. Let's say you take me on as a client, right? Yeah. Let's only use hypotheticals here. Let's say you're 120 pounds, right? Okay. And Work. then let's say I'm 200 pounds right now. Okay. Hypothetically, say. hypothetically, say. all right. So what would happen is <laughs> you, as my trainer, would gain eighty pounds to get up to my two hundred pounds, and then we would lose weight together. The fuck? Yeah, that's the that's show. the show. And I like I, I've been I've only seen like four episodes, but I'm Ooh. totally addicted to it. And I was <laughs> saying to Christina the other day, you know what? We should work these son of the bitches yeah. and I'll, I'll get candy to friggin you know get up to like my weight and we can work our way down that's all I spend all the <laughs> getting all this fat off of me you can make the new season <laughs> exactly <laughs> season that we can stretch the whole season oh yeah just get all this well, I know. Right off I love it I love it <laughs> it's on <laughs> it's 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 yeah, show us at Melrose double fucking, you know, oh, fisted no. food down. Seriously. No, you got to see this. The trainers, they, they no, gorge they themselves. Know. They eat all kinds of shit. Like, <laughs> grab molly and like, like they're, they're freaking shoving barbecue pork in their face and donuts and all this shit. You'd have a great time. You'd have a great time. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a great do. idea, right? Sounds I'm gonna, like fun. I'm going to pitch this out there and see if anyone takes it. So, Candy, my personal trainer, I want to yeah. be slim and fit like a lady. You know it. You okay. know, I want to, I want to flex my arms and, uh. you know, maybe I want to get back into life. I don't know. <laughs> I, there's a lot of stuff I want to yeah. do. I want to exactly. get all this fat off of me. So, <laughs> that's the future plan. So can be my trainer on on fit the fat. Are we making the it fat to fit the fat? My planner. I'm putting we're, it. Right. We're all gonna put it in our planners. I'm, I'm gonna pitch this in my notes. Actually, I'm gonna find out who the actors and producers are and say, listen, here's our pictures. <laughs> Candy. Let's just do this right now. You know, <laughs> let's do I'm it. Down. I'm down. I am down. Dude, if I could eat, for if, I, if I could eat and gain weight and then lose it, yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, I am. You know and I like months. I can even cook the food for you. I'm the yeah. best cook. Mm. It's yeah, true. There you go. That works even better. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> so <laughs> to close this out before I go oh on gosh. and on about fit the fat again, um, <laughs> okay. because I just can't get enough of this. Um, so <laughs> to, close, to close this out, um, do you, would you like to say anything to like people who might be watching who you know are digging you right now? Cause yeah, I, you know, just uh, I, I, like I said, I know I bring my mom up a lot, but she was my best friend. So, you know, just don't give up on your dreams. Don't, you know, because once you stop dreaming, that's it. You you can just go sit in your parents' basement for the rest of your life because that's where yeah. you're going to be, unfortunately. And, and if you want shit done right, do it yourself. Don't ask people to do shit for you because guess what? It'll get done half-assed. And let me tell you something else. I oh, I gave my son a lot of advice, but the one thing he always listened to me about, work for yourself. Don't work for anybody else. If you if you have an option to be your own boss, be your own boss. If not, you get treated like a piece of shit number. They don't care about you. And Frankie's got his own band now. And excuse me, I'm sorry. My nose is running. And uh, yeah, he's his own boss. That's so, a good awesome. way to do it. Awesome. Yeah, well, you have to be because you know people. They, nobody gives a shit about anybody anymore. But you have to be self motivated too. So there's that. And and luck. good luck. Good luck. Good hard luck. work. It's like a combination combo. Yeah. So yeah. where do we uh, find you? Do you don't have any YouTubes or anything or uh, mm -hmm. just pretty much Instagram? No, I, no, no, that stuff. I, I'm I'm techno stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, honey. I have well, Facebook. You, you can find Candy on Facebook under three different profiles. Right. <laughs> and with the one on the on the book, that's that's me. <laughs> right, right. So if you'd like to get in touch with Candy, find her on Facebook and you know, say hi. 
it, me it, too. Yes, and I would still like to write that book. I would. I would like to write that book. Honestly, I, I might I ghost write it for you. How about I that? I was just going to I'm say I'm the ghostwriter. I'm writing it right now, so I guess I'm not the ghost. I might be the one to write. Then it's, it's a, a biography. Candy, so it's a biography. I would. I, I would love to. I would love to. Yeah. I would love well, to. Even though I know, like a lot of people will probably think, "Hey, all right." But no, seriously, we're it's serious about this, Candy. It's on the schedule, hun. Fit the fat, and then the autobiography, and then a biography. We oh, got damn. it. It's we all got it. Notes. It's a nice. It's, it's all in our notes. So, all of the night. We got it. Anyway, <laughs> I, hope that, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this first episode of Favorite Facebook Friends. Uh, we have enjoyed it immensely. Hope you've yeah. learned a whole lot, and you'll join us back for our next episode, which will be next Monday. And uh, our special guest, we will be announcing shortly. So Ooh. until uh, the next time, uh, for Christina J. Paulus and Angel Ambrosio and Candy. Candy, Candy Kevin Ferry. Oh, thank you for joining us, Candy. We love you. We love I love you all so much. I miss you guys, too, so much. Miss you, too, honey. Awesome. Thank All you right. so I much. I love you. Have no a great problem. night, Candy. All Bye. right. Have a good night. Love you guys. Good night. Love Bye. You. Bye, sweeties. <laughs> and oh, this, this is, is all great.